Boom! What's going on, everyone? I'm back from Down Under, where I was seeing the origins of the sugarcane harvester. And go check out that trip with the link to the video down below. Now that I'm back, I think it's time to talk about another custom show truck. More Peterbilts. So, smash the like button. Also, while supplies last, there is a link in the description below to buy one of the DCP Big Rigs Series 5 truck models. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I talk about die-cast replicas. I have already talked about the DCP Big Rigs Series 1 through 4 in previous videos, and catch them in my playlist. But today, I'm going to talk about Big Rigs Series 5 which, due to an interesting quirk of 2021, came out before Big Rigs Series 4. Odd, huh? Anyway, Big Rigs Series 5 is a 2001 Peterbilt 379 hauling a Heil gas tanker. It's a custom show truck from my home state. This ride's hometown is just a few miles south of me in London, Kentucky. First Gear first saw this truck at the 2020 PKY Bracket Challenge, where it won the People's Choice Award. After seeing the truck, First Gear thought it would make a great addition to their Big Rig series. I tend to agree with him, as this is just one beautiful truck, and the replica is just stunning. What is it? Well, Big Rig's number five is Jamie Walker's 2001 Peterbilt 379 for J Cool 8. Jamie is an independent owner operator signed on with Estep Energy LLC. Hauling for Estep Energy, he hauls gasoline to Shell and 76 stations. He picks up fuel in Knoxville, Tennessee to haul back north to customers in central and southeastern Kentucky. Jamie Walker has been running this truck since he bought it from his father Raymond in 2002. Raymond bought it new a year earlier. As of the time of filming, this truck has over 2.5 million miles on it. In 2019, Jamie did a frame off restore where he painted the frame and engine. Other work done included a Jones fiberglass hood, new door skins, and rooftop. The custom grill Jamie put on this truck included a custom body paint matched grill loop in the chrome. Once all put back together, Jamie added stripes and show fenders. What more could be added? Well, the trailer needed some work. Jamie added custom paint and custom wrap to the trailer so that it was a complete matched set. It's so cool to see a working custom show truck. After all the expense and care needed, it amazes me that the driver would risk it out on the highways. My hat's off to all of you custom truck guys that run them every day, including you, Jamie Walker. Now, let's head on down to the rock quarry and talk about Big Rigs series number five. And here we go, guys. This is Big Rigs series five. It is a Peterbilt 379 pulling a Heil gas tanker for J Cool Inc. Comes in the special Big Rigs packaging. Over on the end, you can see the J Cool Inc. logo and the number five saying that this is number five. On the back of the packaging, there's a couple of pictures of the real truck and some info on the real truck. When they do these Big Rigs series, they do a great job in the packaging to give some real reason for these trucks to be made as models. Now, let's go on and open this truck up and show it off. Comes in that standard box with the two-piece blister. There's also a certificate of authenticity in the package, and this one comes with a fifth wheel cover plate and extra mirrors. Here is the item number for J Cool Inc. It's 69-1001. And here is the certificate of authenticity. It says that this was a model of 1,000 produced worldwide, and it has a signature of Jamie Walker and Adam Knight from First Gear. Really cool that they're putting this little certificate in with all of them. 
And here is that beautiful J Cool truck out of the package. Now I've never talked about a fuel tanker before, so I'm gonna talk about the trailer last. And first I'm gonna talk about the tractor because I have talked about 379s before. Wow, isn't that sharp? Pull it in, see the nice light pink stripes on the bright pink cab and the sleeper. It has J Cool ink in pink lettering written down there on the steps behind the battery boxes. There's also, you can see your air tanks. It has chrome straight stacks that are turned out with uh, vertical cuts on them. Really sharp mule ears on the exhaust. It has the fuel tank there. Door handle, door handle, little vent door, upper vent in this sleeper. And you can see the tampo around the door frame to make it look like it has a nice frame. That's all just a tampo. That door doesn't open. Neither does the driver's door. Chrome mirrors, chrome breathers on this guy. It's got the custom fenders on it, which really wrap around the wheel and show off pretty nice. There's a strap that's tampoed in black on the side of the hood for the hood straps. And then the Peterbilt logo you can see up on the side of the hood right there. Really cool. They do a great job on these trucks. Under the hood, you've got a white six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, chrome piping on all of the turbo and on the intercooler plus the radiator. It's also a grill decal. There's the visor up top and it's a body match pink. Then the multiple roof clearance lights option is on this truck. You get a chrome deck plate. You can see how it's mirror chrome and you can see the reflection of my little pointer here. Pink fifth wheel and then there's a pink matched paint color with fifth wheel cap in the package. It has the rear show fenders on both sides and then it rides on 10 hole chromes with soft rubber tires. Around to the back side, it has this bumper option that's behind the end of the show fenders plus it hides the mud flaps that are just kind of tampoed on with the little silver diamond at the back of the show fenders. But this chrome bumper piece is really cool and it's got lots of lights all the way across for the brake lights. Up here, you can see it has its grab bars so you can climb up and hook up your lines, but note, no pogo stick and no airlines, brake lines of any kind on this truck. Lights across here and here back window for the sleeper and that is just tampoed onto this sleeper. Around to the front it has the custom grill here and then they replicated the pink ring that he has on the around the grill on his truck. Really really cool. Peterbilt logo at the top. No bird logo hood ornament so that you could pull the hood open. Not on this model. Underneath you can see this guy has the pink frame pink axles and the rear differentials, air brake canisters, drive shafts, bottom of the motor and transmission detail, and positionable front steering. Really, really good job on this truck. Now, for the fuel tanker, which I have not ever talked about before a fuel tanker on this channel. Talked about a couple other tank trailers, but not a fuel tanker. DCP has a great replica of a Heil petroleum fuel tanker. It is a multi-compartment tank, which you can see up here with the uh, different hatches on the roof. One, two, three, four. There's four different tanks on this trailer, four different grades of fuel. It has, for the grip so you can walk along just fine, that is tampos of black. They also tampoed over the hatches in black. Then there's these little warning pieces, front and rear, for people walking along just to be careful. There's also one in the center up there. Now, sometimes they paint these trailers and sometimes they chrome plate them. I kind of like the painted ones because chrome is so hard to photograph. You can see it reflecting my lights horribly. Also, chrome just shows your fingerprints really bad, so be careful how you hold these trailers. Underneath, you can see the pipes that come out of each of the tanks, the different tanks on board, the different compartments, and that would be hooked up to 
the fuel lines that run down and fuel up the tanks at the gas station. It has pink frame underneath this trailer, pink tubes that hold the hoses, and it has pink axles. Really, really cool. It has the 10 hole chrome wheels with soft rubber tires. They did do a working, sort of working suspension, which is kind of nice and air brake canisters plus air tanks there. Screw down type landing gear, typical of all DCP. And then the Kingpin is designed for DCP and first gear. Now, because it sits up in this frame, which is incorrect, by the way, they did not put the plate right. It should be further down. This trailer does have a tendency to disconnect itself from the tractor. Back of this trailer, you can see the Heil logo there a step and then the ladder so you can climb up on top and walk down and open your hatches to fuel the tanks three dot lights up top the mirror chrome finish on the end of the tank 1203 for gasoline on the hazmat placard there's also a big turn signal on the passenger side a big arrow pointing over to denote that this guy makes wide right turns dot striping across the bumper and then there's brake lights on both sides in this silver bracket. Over here, you can see DOT striping on the rear fenders, which it has fenders on both sides, DOT striping on the piping, the tubing that holds the pipes. And down here, you can see the different pipes with the valves, which turn it on and off so that you can fill up the fuel tanks. Toolbox here, here, and there's a 1203 placard on toolbox. It has a reflective marker right there, and overall, just plain beautiful. Body matched pink with light pink stripe up on the top, right above the tank. It says Heil up top, then it has your hookup lines for your air and electric lines. And there is the Kingpin. They did an amazing job on this trailer. It's one of their older trailers. The only thing they really did wrong with this trailer is the Kingpin should have been on a flat plate down here underneath the frame not sucked up in i don't know they were doing that to match with their van trailers at the time and it did not look right and it's also a problem when hooked up to trucks now let's go on and hook this guy up so you can see them all put together and there we go that is jamie walker's j cool inc peterbilt 379 pulling Heil gas tanker in beautiful pink great looking truck in the big rig series from dcp it is number five and there are still a few of these available with the link down below and the entire run actually had been sold out so don't delay in getting one of these because they will disappear quickly what did you think of jamie walker's real truck and the model that dcp made of his truck let me know down in the comments Coming soon, guys, will be a video on the DCP Peterbilt 389 with Low Boy for Capello Heavy Transport. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And while limited supplies last, get one of Jamie's J Cool Inc. truck and trailer models with the link down below. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with some new content and another episode of Toy Talk.